10 foods that can actually be the cause of your demise. Octopus Did you know that in South Korea, octopuses are eaten raw and alive? I mean, just imagine putting a piece of octopus inside your mouth and feeling its tentacles move around. When eaten alive, the tentacles of the octopus can stick to the inside of the throat and even esophagus. And obviously, this can result in difficulty in breathing and in some cases it can also leave the consumer in a situation of being unable to breathe. Pufferfish Pufferfish is also known as fugu. For most of us the pufferfish is that fish which can puff up into a round ball and can injure us with its spikes if touched. However, this fish can prove to be quite delicious. It has a chicken-like taste and who doesn't like chicken? But well, this dish can result in unwanted consequences if prepared incorrectly. In fact, the chefs in Japan have to train extensively before preparing this food so that they can be sure of what they are doing and don't end up making the mistake of serving you pure venom. Fugu contains an odorless and colorless neurotoxin known as tetrodotoxin. When served the wrong way, if someone consumes a piece containing tetrodotoxin, it can induce tightness of the chest, nausea, vomiting and extremely high blood pressure. Upon consuming tetrodotoxin, if it is not treated immediately it can prove to be fatal. Cassava This food native to South America is a common food in a lot of countries. The cassava is drought resistant and can be grown effectively in hot climates as well. It is a perfect source of calories and carbohydrates. Different areas have different names given to the cassava. In the states it is known as Brazilian arrowroot or manioc. And most of you would be quite familiar with tapioca. Yup, this is a key ingredient in tapioca. However when served raw or cooked improperly, you might have to face the risk of consuming cyanogenic glycosides. When your body consumes cyanogenic glycosides, it can release cyanide into your body. And I think we all know how much of a threat cyanide can be to your body. It can impair the thyroid and cause damages to the nerve function. It can also leave you in a state of paralysis, organ damage or even be fatal in the worst case scenarios. Namibian Bullfrog The Namibian Bullfrog can grow as big as a house cat. While eating frogs is not the most common thing, the Namibian Bullfrog is served in Africa. Although endangered, some people still continue to eat this dish behind closed doors due to the controversies. When served, the whole body of the frog is served except the top head. And this may lead you to consume a part which is venomous. Some areas of the skin and organs of this frog can be toxic. If a wrong bite is eaten, it can lead to kidney failure or even prove to be fatal. According to experts, it is safe to eat after their mating season or after a third rain as during that time their toxins aren't as unsafe. Kazumazu For some cheese makers, Kazumazu is a gourmet dish. And the word Kazumazu, literally means, rotten cheese. Well, pretty sure it would be with hundreds of maggots inside it. Kazumazu is a pecorino cheese made with sheep's milk with a similar taste to that of gorgonzola. Some of you might think that the maggots infestation is by accident or whatsoever. The maggots are in fact a key part of the fermentation process and is totally meant to be there inside the cheese. The cheese fly lays eggs inside this cheese which hatches into hungry larvae. Their digestive system breaks down the fats in the cheese. The maggots are the reason behind the soft texture of this cheese. And while consuming the cheese can be home to hundreds of maggots and when eaten it can sort of camp in your intestines before leaving your body. This can cause vomiting, cramps and other unwanted experiences. Though banned in the EU, a lot of cheese makers still make these for their personal use. Peanuts I mean who doesn't love peanuts? Well, unfortunately around 1% of the world's population is allergic to them which is around 75 million people. For some people, even just being in the same place as peanuts can cause an anaphylactic shock, which means an allergy reaction. The main reason for peanut allergy is the immune system. It can mistake the proteins in peanuts for harmful substances, and the body's defense system can go to overdrive and release chemicals like histamine to fight against the harm. This can cause wheezing, coughing, 
shortness in breathing, dizziness and even fainting. Aki Berry. This fruit is pretty popular around Jamaica and worldwide. It is often sold canned or sautéed with fish and onions. The unique buttery taste of this fruit makes it a delicious after ingredient. And also when prepared properly it can go together with many dishes. However, the bitter side to this fruit is that you can only consume the exterior yellow part. The dark berry inside once consumed can lead to what's known as Jamaican vomiting sickness. This can cause hyperglycemia and seizures. To reduce the symptoms, patients are treated with activated charcoal. Well, fortunately, since the food is an international demand, it is prepared properly, meaning the risks are pretty negligible. Nutmeg Nutmeg is a common and a highly appreciated spice among chefs. Nutmeg has an amazing taste which most of us admire to the core. But hey, sometimes the most delicious things can cause you a lot of harm. Beware, because if ingested in the wrong amount, nutmeg can result in pitiful consequences. It contains something called myristicin which can cause serious results. If more than one teaspoon of ground nutmeg is used, the myristicin can induce nausea, vomiting and even hallucinations in some cases. Although the cases of nutmeg po. Zoning are rare, you might want to be careful if you don't want to end up sick. Bean Sprouts The taste and texture of the bean sprouts make them hard to resist among diners. However, the bitter side of the common and famous bean sprouts are their susceptibility to harboring salmonella, listeria and E. coli which are bacteria which can often cause some damage. And the hot and moist climate in which these bean sprouts grow is quite optimal for these bacteria to grow as well. If they are not washed properly before consumption or even cooked lightly, it can surely cause unwanted damages. So you better be careful with these if you want to continue eating the delicious bean sprouts. Blood Clams These clams are harvested in the Gulf of Mexico, Atlantic, and Pacific Ocean. They are very much admired among the diners for their crisp succulent taste and the bright red pieces inside them. Although it looks like blood and is even named blood clams, it is not real blood so you can keep your worries aside. Their rust-colored liquid is due to the high amount of hemoglobin between the clam shells. Blood clams can filter over 40 liters of seawater daily. Well if blood clams are harvested in areas with lacking sanitation regulations, they can absorb substances like hepatitis, typhoid and dysentery. Hepatitis virus can last up to three months in the clams. Due to their ability to carry viruses, blood clams have been banned in countries like China, 